Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad Twilight of the Spirits with me, Ultra Gamer J. We just finished up a filler, or we just went through a filler fight off screen, so now we can continue our quest to get the remote control roll, or rather the parts for it, that we need. Since we went to the Viora of Mine last time, or we went to it first in our when we were trying to cut off the Dillsweld Army's supply chain. Let's go to the Perens Ruins first. Kind of an inverted version of what we did before. Now I was told Something around here, maybe? You know, that spirit dictionary we found, found in the last episode. <laughs> Wouldn't someone look like a complete idiot if they had, had said, had that, you know, that those had appeared in, in games Ark the Lad games prior to this, but said, but then said that those games had never come, had been, had never been exported to, to outside of Japan. That person would look like such a complete idiot because, as the Ark the Lad collection was a very, and kind of sort of is a very real thing. Huh, so this world used used to have telephones. Well then how come they're not using them in Cathena or Sulphus? I mean I can understand U Bell because it's like like out in the boonies. But still. Aside from that cameo from a character that I have no idea who could be because, well, I tried to get my hands on the Ark the Lad collection, but for some reason it wouldn't work whenever I tried to play it. Or the screen would go black after a certain point, like right after the tutorial fight, which is a shame. Oh, jeez, oh, what have I done? Am I stuck in here? Crap. How do I get out? Oh, oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. That was a close one. But I could have sworn someone said there was something here. Maybe it's somewhere else around here. What? What is that? That? I don't think that was there before. I'm not going crazy, right? I'm not the only one that saw that, right? That thing over there. That, that... That thing, bottom left corner. I think I think I can interact with that. Oh, thank God, I'm not crazy. Well, not yet. Sure.
mean there's no Well then why don't we just take it with take it with us and replace the battery? No sense just leaving its metaphorical corpse here. I mean that just seems kind of unnecessarily mean. But yeah, this world had televisions too at one point. Again, why aren't those in Kathena and Sulphus? It looks like a one of those bells you ring at a counter. Huh. I guess magnetrons look like those bells you ding at, at counters of various establishments. Good to know! Or maybe I need an eye exam. You could at least take the banana peel out. Sure! We could take... We could take the radio, too, because apparently radios existed in this world at one at one point. Again, how are those not a thing in cities like Kathena or um, Solfus? I mean, I could see the Dillsweld Empire using them to, like, broadcast propaganda and such. The Deimos would naturally have no use for them. But, I mean, the other stuff? Should be one more thing here. Shouldn't there? Unless I'm going crazy. Maybe there's one... Am I absolutely sure I've gotten everything? I got the magnetron, I got the res the antenna. I cannot interact with that for- Oh! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's try that again. Okay, there were computers in this world, too, at, w at one point. So if there were computers, radios, telephones, televisions, microwaves, and refrigerators in this world, then why are they not, like, being used in Kathena or Sulphus. Oh shit.
Is it just me, or did one of those ninjas talk like they were a... Well, for lack of a better term, Cockney soccer hooligan. Like, a British football fanatic. No, European football. European football is what I meant. European football fanatic. E European football hooligan. Then again, I suppose anyone can be a ninja. Even shrieking crackheads that say that insert her thing here gets me fired up. And leads to the creation of one of the worst seasons of Super Sentai I have ever seen. Well, to date. You say you're not afraid of anyone, ninjas? I don't think you've been introduced to Paulette yet. Well, but I guess you you are now, so... She is death, destroyer of worlds. Or, she will be. Once she learns all her skills and stuff like that. Once, Well, when she learns all her skills and her level's maxed out. Then she will be a true goddess of destruction. Come on, Gons, just face the red ninja from the side. Why can you not do that? Is it that hard? To, it should not be that hard. But for some reason it was. Huh. They can turn around to dodge attacks. That's an interesting little bit of information. But this will. Ooh, triple drop. Huh, Stone Crusher. We'll have to see what that does later. No. No, it did not. Actually, didn't really take mu take up much time at all because we utilized the tried and true tactic of back attack. Do we get anything of value from that? Like any new moves? Nope. Wait. Yeah. Nope. Dang it! I was supposed to look at that. I was supposed to. Yeah, let's see what that item was. That stone crusher. What? It's, it's not in my party items. What the? It's a rescue kit. There's the. It's the poison firecracker we got from an earlier fight, or the filler fight. But where's the- Oh, there it is, there it is. Huh! It's a weapon drop for Paulette. Good to know. 
Let's put it on right now. Thorn of Revenge. Or no, Stone Crusher. Then Thorn of Revenge. And then the Sapphire Coating. Wonder if I should wonder if I should just add the stone coating to Gaunt's just to be safe. I can only help him. I mean sure it raises his speed or it lowers his speed down, but that's by one point, so no big deal. So, with that said, I'm going to end the video here. This has been Ultra Gamer J signing off, hoping to see you all in the next video, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content.